Santa is going to be dropping down your chimney two weeks from tonight, but today he made an early visit to a Springfield family. Elise Coulter is here to show how bikers became Santa's elves. Elise? Well, Jack, it all started with a toy drive shown here behind me in September. Now, the bikers helped to donate more than 2,000 toys and several thousand dollars, but the biggest help they gave was to good old St. Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> the night for jolly old St. Nick started at the Honey Baked Ham in Springfield. Now here you've got a little package we do. that you would like to give. A donation to Santa for a local family. That will go down in the good book. But Santa couldn't stay too long. Merry Christmas. <laughs> he had to dash off and with the jingle of a bell, he arrived on the doorstep of two very special little girls. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Who happened to love Christmas and Santa. And he's really nice and he gives you very much presents. What does Santa say? Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. For him to actually show up at their house and to see the excitement on their face, that was wonderful. And that's Madison. Hi there. Two very excited girls to see the man they can only dream about, and he brought them a little present. Looky here. That's yours. And immediately jumped on for a ride. Pedal. There you go. Can you ride it without straining wheels? To see her see Santa today and be excited, that was um, really touching for me as a mom to see that. The girls quickly made Santa a thank you card because he had to rush off to the North Pole to get ready for Christmas Eve in just two weeks. <laughs> Oh, never goodbye. It's always later. The family was incredibly thankful and grateful for the gifts from Santa tonight. Now, it was something they otherwise would not be able to afford. Jack, Natasha, back to you.